Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to solve this given quadratic equation by three different ways. By quadratic formula, by completing the square, and finally by factoring. So the very first method, we're going to use it by using quadratic formula. But before we use quadratic formula, make sure that this given quadratic equation is in a standard form. That means ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 and that satisfies that condition. And here's the quadratic formula that we will be using. In our case, uh, let's uh, identify our coefficients x squared could be written as 1x squared that means a equals to 1 b is negative 7 and c is positive 8 so let's fill in the blanks over here wherever you see a b and c values just put it in this quadratic formula so x equals to minus and b is negative 7 plus or minus b square that means negative 7 square minus 4 time a is 1 c is 8 everything is divisible by 2 time a is 1 let's simplify this one so negative and negative become positive 7 plus or minus uh, 7 negative 7 square is 49 minus 32 divided by 2 that turns out to be equal to 7 plus or minus square root of 17 everything is divisible by 2 now let's go ahead and split these signs there's a positive sign and negative sign so that is going to give us simply x equal to 7 plus square root of 17 divided by 2 one solution the other one is going to be x equal to 7 minus square root of 17 divided by 2 so thus 7 plus square root of 17 divided by 2 and 7 minus square root of 17 divided by 2 is our solution set. And here is our next method. In order to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square, the very first step is make sure you have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this non-x variable constant is going to go on the other side so we can write x square minus 7x equals to negative 8 that is your very first step the second step is I want you to focus on the the coefficient of x which is negative 7 I want you to look at this number 7 don't worry about this negative sign just take this 7 then I want you to divide this number by 2 always whatever that number divided by 2 the last part is going to be I want you to simply square it on over here okay first you took this 7 divided by 2 and then square it so this is what we got right up here so we're gonna add this quantity on both sides of this equation so I'm going to write down x square minus 7x plus, I'm going to put a space over here, negative 8 plus. Now I am going to add this 7 over 2 square on this side and 7 over 2 square on this side. So far so good. Now I want you to look at this left hand side so we're going to use this well-known formula the difference a minus b squared equals to a squared minus twice a b 
plus b squared that means this i could write as x minus 7 over 2 square all right make sure one thing i just want to tell you that this negative sign is showing up right here this number right up here and this variable x right up here equals to you just put down over here negative 8 and then this could be written as 49 divided by 4 and 8 negative 8 could be written as negative 8 over 1 and the next step I want you to look at this right hand side number I just put these numbers right up here I'm going to simplify it I want you to use this simple method crisscross it I want you to crisscross this way 4 times negative 8 is going to give you negative 32 whatever this sign plus and then you multiply this way 49 times 1 is 49 divided by whatever your denominators bottom numbers 1 times 4 you multiply them 4 so that is going to give you on the top is 17 over 4 so I can write this one over here x minus 7 over 2 square it turns out to be 17 over 4 the next thing is I want you to take the square root because we want to undo this square take the square root on both sides so once you take the square root they cancel each other out they undo each other x minus 7 over 2 turns out to be a positive or negative square root of 17 divided by 2 and here I showed you how I got from here to here by just using this rules of radicals simply just split them up and then the square root of, of 4 is simply 2 now next thing I want you to simply move this one because we want to isolate x so when once you move this one on the other side so x turns out to be this become positive 7 over 2 because when once you move this one over here on the other side become positive positive or negative square root of 17 divided by 2 or simply x could be written as since we have the same denominator we can write as common denominator as 2 let's split these one up now so if you split uh, these positive and negative signs we are going to get x equal to 7 plus square root of 17 divided by 2 the other one is x equal to 7 minus square root of 17 divided by 2 so thus 7 plus square root of 17 divided by 2 and 7 minus square root of 17 divided by 2 is our solution set and finally we will try to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring method the very first thing I want you to see what is the discriminant and here is the discriminant formula b square minus 4ac let's identify our a is 1 b is negative 7 and c is 8 so let's fill in the blanks so discriminant equals to b square is negative 7 square minus 4 times a is 1 8 is and c is 8 by the way let's simplify it this become 49 minus 32 so discriminant turns out to be 
17. And here are the rules. A quadratic equation is factorable with rational solutions only if the discriminant is either pos is positive and perfect square or zero. In this case, of course, this is positive, but this is not a perfect square. So that means this given quadratic equation cannot be factored. Once again, this is not a complete square. Let me just give you a quick example. Let's say nine. Nine is a complete square because this could be written as three square. 16 is a complete square because this could be written as four square. So that means 17, this is not factorable. So thus this given quadratic equation cannot be factored. And here is your assignment. Can you solve this problem on your own? Can you find the factors of these two equations, two different problems, different expressions are polynomials by substitution method? Take your time. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.